A wonderful, good something, good afternoon, good evening, good morning. For us, it's day two, for some of us, and for some of you probably are still in day one, enjoying the party. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, there's always a workshop, points of view workshop where the sun is shining. For all of us who are in English, I invite us to the English translation channel, then we will hear it in English. And if we want other languages, Today we have four language options. And first I would love to invite Cher uh, for Chinese, if you could say, speak to us in the English channel. Okay, if you could invite your participants in Chinese just to join the channel in Chinese in case we don't know yet. See you, Cher, where are you? Cher, maybe you can switch back to the English channel so everyone can hear you. Yes, Chinese. because just in case someone's in the English channel in the Chinese. Hi. And if you could just say in Chinese to switch on the Chinese channel. And now we'll ask Mizu for Japanese in the English channel. Arigato gozaimasu. And if you want Portuguese, then we invite Joanna. Obrigado. And Spanish, Cristina. Cristina, you're in the English and you're on mute. <laughs> Don't worry. Gracias. Thank you for that. We are all in the right channels and let's not wait any longer. Okay, if we could just be on mute. And I'd love to introduce the two amazing ladies, women, Jennifer and Amelia. The stage is yours. Thank you, Marek, and thank you, everyone. So welcome again to, actually this is the second uh, workshop of the second day of Wing of Chains uh, Points of View Global Conference. And before we start, um, I would like to remind you to mute your microphone and then cameras on so we can see your smile. The chat room is always open for any comments inside or questions. And also, don't forget to prepare your Pung Tu and flow for this process. I'm sure much of us, uh, we went to Salmon's workshop this morning. Who went, who went to Salmon's workshop? Can I see your reaction? Because we also have, a sal we have Salmon um, in the Zoom room. How is it? Amazing. So good. Okay. <laughs> Great. So, my name is Amelia. I'm the country leader of Points of View Indonesia. And I'm here to co facilitate with my partner, Jennifer Sinke, expert from Japan. Hi, Hello, Jennifer. everyone. Hiya. Yes. And of course, our team member, we have Zusana, expert from China. She is our producer today. Hi, Susanna. <laughs> Thank you, Amelia. Hello, everyone. 
Also, we also have an um, interpreters like you know, Chair from China, Ao Chan from Japan, Joanne from Portuguese, and Christine from Spanish. So, are you ready for this one? Our workshop today grew out of our personal experiences as human beings playing many roles in COVID times. And we believe that there is something intriguing you about this topic. So we hope this workshop can be relevant for you and gives you positive energy. And today we will closely observe three roles that are important to you in your life. Explore the energy you want to bring to this role in terms of masculine and feminine, and also to be aware and reframe the energies that we need to bring right now during this pandemic. Okay, so let's start. All right, so before we dive into the work and get out our punctum and flow, we want to clarify some definitions. So first of all, we're gonna start with talking about roles. So social roles are about the expectations that we have, and they can be our own expectations or those of society that are given to us about the responsibilities, the behavior, and the sort of things which are normal. And each of us can take really different roles throughout the day and shifting at different times throughout the day as well. So for example, when I look at this list on here, I go, okay, I'm a mother, I'm a youngest daughter, I'm a younger sister, I'm a wife, I'm a uh, facilitator, a coach, a business owner. I'm a proud member of the Points of View Global Tribe, uh, the Master to Be, and the Japan Tribe, of course. And um, also, I'm a Ravenclaw. Are there any Harry Potter fans in the house? So if you're there, please let me know your house as well. So the list goes on. And I think many of us are in many different roles. So how about you? What type of roles are you playing in your life? It would be great if you could put some of them in the chat. There's a Hufflepuff. <laughs> My husband is a Hufflepuff. What other roles do you play? Pet parent. Pet parent, yes, you Joanne. are, Joanne. Me too. Oh, here we go. Woman, wife, mother, partner, single mother, brother, aunt, Slytherin, boo, mother, grandmother, business owner, partner. All of the, all of the roles, all of the roles. Grandma already, a bookkeeper, a panda. You have a panda? You know, that's interesting. Points of view, tribe, best friend to two people, animal communicator, wonderful, mother, partner, wow work roles, all of the roles. I love that. Yes, it feels like we are playing all of the roles. Wow. An admirer of Alan Rickman. I didn't realize that was a role, but yes, it is. Alan Rickman, fan club member. Rest in peace to him. Amelia's keeper. <laughs> yes, it's here. Of the world. <laughs> Wonderful. So what, you know, complex individuals we have in our wonderful global tribe. Now, are you also aware that you bring different types of energy into each of the roles that you play? So the energy that you play might be more masculine or more feminine. And that's going to depend on the time and the place and the occasion. And I'm going to talk a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a moment. But yes, Susanna, you were right to move me along to the next slide. Yes, before COVID, we could use, we had our roles, we had masculine and feminine energy that we brought. And then we also had what in Japan we often call TPO, time, place, occasion, to manage and transition between the different types of energy. So for example, I would go out to the office, work with my clients, you know, be the business person. And then as I come home, I would pause, put my key in the door, and go, okay, now is time to be a mother. Now is time to be a wife. Let's put on whatever this role means to me today. 
But now everything is happening all in one place. For many of us still working from home, maybe still homeschooling, all of our family are with us. And we really need to adjust to that. So I want to give a bit more of a definition about the masculine and feminine energy that I mentioned. So this masculine and feminine energy, the masculine energy can be seen to be sort of confident, maybe very structured, uh, perhaps a little bit uh, on the other side, though, a little bit uh, dominating. So masculine energy helps us to plan, maybe be diligent and provide some kind of stability. But as I mentioned, it can be aggressive and maybe dominating if it's overused. On the other side, we have a more feminine energy, which is often described as intuitive, nurturing, artistic, empathetic. And often the feminine energy seems to help us to be more compassionate and gentle, but it can be seen as being maybe too emotional or even passive. So in my case, I noticed that in my role as a mother, I actually have a very masculine energy. I want to solve problems. I want to make plans. I want to bring structure. And my children and my husband would probably tell you that my energy is quite dominating in the home. However, I see some friendly faces of people who have been in workshops with me as a facilitator. And there, many people tell me, I tend to be more nurturing, much better listener, just empathetic and holding the space. I don't try to solve everyone's problems when I'm facilitating. So this is very interesting for me. But we would like to hear your opinions on this, your point of view. So we're gonna do a little poll. So get ready. We're going to share three words in the poll. And we would like you just to use your, your unconscious bias. You know, what in your culture, whether these words are more masculine or feminine energy based on your culture and your understanding. So the first word is courageous. Second word is anxious. Third word is intuitive. And the last one, a question for you. How are you feeling in your energy today? Are you feeling more masculine energy or more feminine energy? And I'd ask to Amelia because, uh, yeah. yeah, to, I can't actually see how the polling is going because yeah, I'm not co host. So, so you can. Uh, yeah. 38 people here and it's still counting 90 70 percent normal so come on who helps <laughs> okay let's let's 99. do a merrick can we raise it can we raise it you can't submit your <laughs> response georg did you can you scroll down yeah. maybe scroll yeah. down and see if it comes up we have four question we have four pool. okay 107 Number is interesting. <laughs> yeah, number is increased. Cowards is more masculine and anxious. Ah, it's more feminine. Intuitive look, nine, uh, 92 percent feminine. Wow. Oh, Karine also can't send the answer. Please just put your, your comments no. in the thing. We will give um, our house 30 more seconds and then we will close minutes. the pool. Okay. Yeah. Just you may need second. to scroll down on the poll. Keep scrolling down on the poll because there's four questions. So you might need to keep going. Yeah. Thank you, Thomas. Quite right. That's interesting. How are you feeling in your energy today? 77% is more masculine, um, feminine. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the pool. And let's see uh, the result. As we feel in the pool, 
Cowrid is more masculine energy and Sears is more feminine, 74%. And intuitive, oh, what a surprise, feminine. It's really interesting, percent. like across all these cultures, right? All yes. these cultures, all these countries. Right. Hmm. And this is the most um, interesting part for me is question number four. How are you feeling in your energy today? Um, see, 65% oh, feminine energy. And let's see how we play with the energies today. Yeah. Um, when we uh, consider about this question, how are you feeling in your energy today? Can you imagine what happens when your energy are out of balance? Have you ever something like that? And how is it? Because usually when the masculine energy is deficient, you may lack of motivation, low self-esteem and less focus. Mm -hmm. But when the feminine of masculine energy in excess, you may dominating, confrontational and work robotically. On the other side, when the feminine energy is deficient, usually we can be too empathetic, overly forgiving of others, and somehow trouble adjusting to change and allowing balance. And too much of the feminine essence can manifest lack of emotional intelligence. And finally, like Jennifer said, when COVID-19 came, everything speaks in one place and no more different place. Office, home, social life, everything is at home. Even when I play my role as a CEO in my professional life, suddenly in the same time, in the same room, I need to be a mom with my online schooling daughters. By the way, in fact, many times when we were rehearsing, we were switching between our roles and our energies with no pause, no transition. My dog's barking, Jennifer sons in the room, and my staff in the breakout every time. Every time. <laughs> and it really mixed up. Yeah, you know what I mean? It. I used my masculine energy, and suddenly I needed my feminine energy. It happens to us, right, Jennifer? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and how we can reframe our energies in this challenging situation? Right. So we've shared the key definitions of the roles, all those social roles that we play, uh, masculine and feminine energy that we're going to talk about today, as well as the lack of balance in our lives in this COVID time. Uh, without those transitions. So now we will transition into our process for today. We're going to observe those roles and the energy, and you will have an opportunity to reframe them. So I noticed that Nui wrote in the chat, she wants to have a more feminine energy. So let's see what happens at the end of this workshop. So please get yourself into a comfortable position. Close your eyes and enjoy our pause for today. It's around seven minutes. Thank you.
Thank you very much for the pause. And come back to the room. Some good stretches there. I can see it all. Everyone is having long days. So I would like us to go back to the big list of roles. And some people said, I have all the roles. Well, in points of view, we need to be precise. So today, in this workshop, I would like you to choose three. Three roles that are important to you now. And three roles that you want to observe and reframe during this workshop. And you can write them down on a piece of paper or some post-it notes, any, any way you like. Three different roles. I'll give you a minute to do that. Excuse me? Yes. I couldn't understand the question. What does it mean uh, you want to observe and reframe? So we are going to do some work about different roles that you play. So maybe your role is, for, so for me, it would be as a mother, as a business leader, and as a community leader. These are three important roles for me I'm going to look at in this workshop because we all play many, 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 many roles. So if you can just choose three important roles for today. Thanks. Does that help? <laughs> A little bit. Sarah, <laughs> why don't you tell me maybe three roles and I can give you a hint. Or other people could please put their roles in their thinking of and please put into the chat because somebody else might be like, what does she mean? So if you decided your roles yet, yeah, wife, student. Yes, great example, mother, partner, work role, mother, professional and friend, father, husband, coach. Yeah, so having three roles to look at today. Community member, a sibling and as a child, as a boyfriend, as a change agent, as a coworker, as a partner, as a researcher, as a co-founder, as a mother, as a woman, as a coach as a family member, colleague at work, and a world citizen. Something in a language I cannot read, <laughs> but it looks good. Yes. And then, so uh, Inas, Insaf tried to find two other roles. You need to have three to look at. It will become clear, I, I hope, on the next slide. So with these three roles, what we are going to do is choose three cards from Punctum, but I will give you the explanation first. So you're going to pick three cards from Punctum face down like this. And I'm gonna put one as a mom, one as a business owner, and one as a community leader. Connect one card with one roll face down. So get your Punctum face down. If you don't have punctum, we are going to share with you in a moment. All right. So we're going to connect each card with each roll. How is everybody doing? Give me a thumbs up to show me. You're okay with your cards face down. Yes, face down, thank you. All right. Thank you, Yanti. Thank you, Elodie. You can see some thumbs up. Three punctum photo cards face down. If you have your cards face down and ready, give me a sign. 
Agata is smiling. Thank you, Lydia. I can see the small. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Sign. <laughs> That's great. All right, let's move on then. We're going to turn the cards over. Okay, so we'll be like example like this with the cards face up. And then we're going to observe the cards. All right, so for those who don't have punctum, if we can just go to the six cards face down. Suzanne, you have a question? Susan, even, you raise your hand. You're okay? <laughs> Mistake, all right. <laughs> Okay, so let's see, can we have the, all the punctum cards face down, I think is the next slide. There we go. So if you don't have punctum, you can choose top left, bottom, middle, and so on. And then we are going to turn the cards over and you're going to connect the cards with the rolls. So please note your initial reaction as you turn over if you have your physical cards. Oh, this is my card for this roll. What comes up for you? Let's go to the next step of expanding and observing. So we're going to observe each roll and each card in detail. So let's look at the first card and the role that you had. So for me, it would be first card as a mother. Look at your card closely. What is the punctum? What is the most important point for you in this card and why? Where are you in this photo? How does this connect to the role? What energy do you notice in the card? Would you describe it as more masculine or more feminine energy? And what's the connection between the role the energy and the card. Now we're going to observe the second card in the same way. The second card and the roll in the same way. So what's the punctum? What is the most important point of this card for you and why? Where are you in this photo? And how does that connect to the role? What energy do you notice in this card? And would you describe that as more masculine or more feminine?
And what's the connection between the role, the energy, and the card? Now let's go to the third card and we'll observe that in the same way. So the third card and the third roll. What's the punctum? I think you know these questions now. What's the most important point in the card for you? Why? Yes, observe your role via the card. Where are you in this photo? And how does that connect to your role? What energy do you notice in the card? Is it more masculine or more feminine? And what's the connection between the role, the energy and the card? So there was an observation of your role and the energy, each of them in turn. And my question for you is, are you comfortable with the energies and the roles? We'd love to hear from you uh, to share some insights, what came up for you in this observation. So please feel free to open your microphone and uh, share what happened so far. May I share? Who are you and where are you? Well, I, I'm, I'm Mona from Hong Kong. Hi, Mona. Hello, I can yes. see you. Yes. yes. Thank you, Mona. Okay. Okay. This is my first card. Oh, sorry. I don't need... Yeah. yeah. Can you see my in card? In front of yourself, I think. <laughs> yeah, here. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm relating to my role as a daughter. Yes. So this mm -hmm. woman is trying to make a dive. Okay, it's like a, my situation today because I'm very busy with my job and also learning. So I hardly have any time to accompany my mother because I'm living with her. Yeah. And, uh, but as the role you know, of a daughter, I still need to try to squeeze some time for my mother. So this is the, the situation I'm, I'm, I'm now with. So I need to find some time to, to squeeze some time to accompany my mother. So it's like the woman trying to uh, dive deep into the water, but still, you know, still going on, moving on into the water. So this is like uh, my situation today as a role of a daughter. Mm. And my second card is this one. Yep. Okay. Because I just enrolled in a degree course, a Master of Business Psychology, and I haven't picked up a really uh, long time study for, for a really long time. So um, I'm going to face a challenge of 18 months study. And so <laughs> this is like a, a challenge to try something very new for myself. But at the same time, I want, you know, I need to also balance my time management because I need to find time to uh, to, you know, to accomplish my assignment and project and so on. So this is really um, something very, very reflecting of what I'm going to do soon. And my third card is this one. Okay, this is the role, my current role as a managing director of a supply chain company. Mm -hmm. And um, we're facing a lot of changes in business today, as you know. And also recently I have some staff problem. 
So it's like uh, I'm, uh, it's really reflecting my frustration um, today. But uh, in a sense, um, I mean, talking about these two before is more masculine role, but this one I would like to switch to a feminine role because mm. I'm, too, I'm too over masculine, I think, in my role. So I think for, from this card, I sense that I need to somehow transform more into a feminine role in order to calm myself down and then to try to resolve the situation today because there's something that we cannot control due to COVID. And regarding the staff problem, I think there's still a door out uh, for that. So, so um, I guess I need to put more feminine um, elements <laughs> into my dominating masculine role. Mm. Thank you. Into the energy. Thank you, Mona. That was a really interesting um, sharing. And I feel that third card was possibly unexpected, but precise from the face down <laughs> expressing that. Yeah. Do we have time for one more person, Amelia? Yes, you. Yeah. Can I, can I, <clears throat> can I share? Yes. Who yeah. are you? And let us find you so we can pin you. Keep talking. I'm Jacob. Hello, yeah. Jacob. We got you now. From Israel and Austria. Um, what I, I found interesting, my three core roles or main roles as a partner, as a professional, a psychologist and coach, and the third one as a friend. Yet the ones that I wanted or I discovered so-called in during the process, during the, the exercise, the ones that I want to refocus or reframe are not necessarily overlapping because I suddenly saw that my uh, identity or my role as a creator to create, to write and to, to make uh, actually, yeah, I, I mean, creator sounds very um, bombastic, but I mean to mainly to write and to create new, um, new concepts, it is neglected and I would like to reframe it how it does take a place or not in addition to the three or instead or replacing, I don't know. And um, I discovered that as a friend, I also want to reshape or reframe the whole uh, concept to be, uh, to go into more authenticity and not friends as just to uh, market, but just to redefine my, uh, my personality or my identity or my role as a friend. And uh, as well as a father, which did not uh, appear interestingly in the first three roles that I had, it was first. So this not overlapping between my main or core roles and the ones that I want to uh, actually to really explore or re reframe uh, was for me a very interesting so-called discovery. And um, it also, the intensity and the energy also, I don't want to go into the whole detail because we don't have the time, but it may, it, it brought a lot of uh, insight regarding the whole um, energy flow or energy balance, so to call between these uh, various roles and identities. How do you notice your, your energy, Jacob? How do you feel? How do, I, how do I feel or how do I discover it? I didn't. Uh, how, how do you discover your energy in this time with three roles? Um, it's more masculine I, or more feminine? I simply, I simply look into myself as a kind of introspection. And I simply, without judging, I, I, I look and I see what, what the level of how exciting or enthusiastic I am or how more dormant their passivity is regarding the various roles. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting to observe consciously and with intention those differences and also the fluctuations because it does fluctuate even during the exercise, uh, let alone uh, along days and months and periods of life, which yeah, is also of course a story. Yes, that's interesting because when we see our authenticity we, we will realize what kind of energy we have during its time. Thank you for sharing, Jacob. Thank Do you, you want one, one more, Jennifer? Maybe a short uh, sharing, one more. Anyone wants to share again? I like to share. This is a short one. I'm Baruna from Indonesia. Part of Bu Amelia is my coach. 
Um, <laughs> interesting part of here as can I see, can you see the game? Yes. Um, classes being a father's I need to uh, satisfy the family members. I need to juggle. One is seeing clearly, the other one is being blurred. Oftentimes, wife is saying something, but my definition is the other thing. So it's, it is being clear and blur. I'm enjoying it. Um, my second car, it is a, a walking behind the chain. I'm um, being an instructor of the crime prevention practitioners. Judge, uh, looking at this uh, car that's behind the chain, seeing that uh, crime need to be prevented, but it is not easy. As if like you're looking behind the um, chains that you have to uh, reach through, you know, which of the um, uh, a criminal will, will be conducting uh, his doing. And the last but not least, it is a, uh, can you see it? Oh, sorry. Um, it is a girl uh, diving into the uh, water. Um, it is a being a therapist. Oftentimes I uh, receive a, a client which I do not know. I have to dive in together with my client. However, my client has an oxygen and I do not have. So I have to share the feeling, the emotional. The last card is the, uh, the energy of um, the feminine. The, the first two are the energy of masculine. So um, right now is I'm sort of like challenging myself. Is this the right uh, role that I'm doing it? That's a good resonating question. Ah, oh, it's freezing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Pak Baruno, for sharing. So it, it's very interesting when you take a look uh, at all of these three cards. Maybe some of you already realize what kind of energy do you have? It's more masculine, it's more feminine. And some of you still looking and digesting what is inside, what we, we, um, we feel every day. And when you look at all three cards, how is the balance? Do you feel comfortable in the balance of your masculine and feminine energy? Or you still have maybe something uncomfortable with your energy in this time? So we would like to open the second pool to get the essence of the balance in the room. Wait, I will prepare the pool. Here, here, or here is the pool. We only have one question. Um, how comfortable are you in the balance of your masculine and feminine energy in your life now, in this time, still during in this pandemic? Yeah, we have four options. Very uncomfortable, a little uncomfortable, fairly comfortable and very comfortable yes okay thank you <laughs> okay that's interesting some of you oh, okay i can take a deep breath because it's only less for very uncomfortable <laughs> i hope because of this is the our second day so you already get the energy and he'll uh healing energy during this conference. Okay, some, some of you still have a little uncomfortable, 29%, fairly comfortable, 47%, and very comfortable, 18%. Okay, 100 and still going. I think that's enough, thank you, thank you. Fairly comfortable and a little comfortable. Okay, stop sharing. So let's see how we can deal with this balance. Maybe if you put a little uncomfortable, this is a question for you. What, how, what do you want? Do you want to be more comfortable or is it enough for you? Or if you feel fairly comfortable, what do you think? Is that enough for you or do you want more balance from this workshop okay. and after that pool 
actually I have um, an exercise in this time, but before it, previously when I share about the problem when there is an imbalance of energy and when you feel not comfortable or imbalanced, this exercise that could help you. The purpose of the exercise actually is to help our body, mind, and soul to be more grounded and to reframe our energy. Um, this is a kind of breathing exercise. If you do yoga, maybe you know about pranayama. But before we start the exercise to reframe our energy, I will read a story um, of breathing from Slow Book, page 136. The story is coming from Slow Book. When you breathe, your breathing is never natural. If you are a little angry, your anger changes your breathing. If you are full of passion, lust, your lust changes your breathing. If you are greedy, your greed is reflected in your breathing. Continuously, your mind mood infiltrates breathing and changes it. You can watch it. And when you're angry, Try not to disturb the breathing. And you will be completely unable to angry. Just try not to change the breathing. Let the breathing remain as it, as it was before you become angry. And then try to be angry. It will be impossible. The breathing has to change first. Through the breathing, the body changes. The mind first affects the breathing. When you are in a moment of loss, watch. Keep the breathing natural, and you will suddenly find that the loss has disappeared. The moment came and passed. That's breathing from Oslo, the first principle. So I would like to introduce you about Nandi Sodana breathing. This is a breathing exercise that helps us to balance the Ida and Pingala Nandis. Actually, the Ida Nandis represents the feminine side of our body and the Pingala Nandi represents the masculine energy in our body. This is a pranayama technique uh, between uh, to balance between left and right hemisphere of the brain and helps us to marry both sides. Actually, if you notice, our left brain is connected with right organs which, uh, which we can say the right nostril. Yeah. And our right brain is connected with left organs or with our left nostril. So if you feel imbalance, we can just simply check our, how our nostrils work, okay? By putting our, your palm in front of your nostril. Actually, this is the first exercise to check our balance energy inside us which is masculine or feminine it doesn't matter just realize and to be aware to be mindful which energy is more dominant in this time so you can put your palm in front of your nostrils take a deep breath and exhale feel it you can do it once again. Inhale and exhale. Let's see. Do you notice the breathing with nostril? Let out more air and with nostril is blocked. Do you feel it? 
anyone wants to share in the chat room which not thrill are more blocked or which not thrill let out more air Let's see wow both are open thank you maria right is more blocked okay how do you feel yes if your right nostril is blocked could be in this time we are more feminine if our left nostril is blocked could be in this time is the other side yeah, between the masculine and feminine but the purpose of this breathing exercise is to get balance of the nostril so we can get balance of our energies and we will practice the Nadi Sodana breathing. I will give you the example. But before I give you an example, I invite you to let open your camera so we can see you and make sure everything is fine. Yeah. You can sit comfortably with your feet flat on the floor and lengthen the spine up and let the shoulders drop and just relax. Okay, while you see it, I will give you an example before you start. We can put our right hand press on your knee with the palm facing upward. And our left hand, we just simply fold our index and middle finger toward the inside of your palm. That's right. That's very easy. Yes. Actually, this exercise is very simple. It's about inhale, hold, and exhale. Inhale, hold, and exhale. But between two nostrils, yeah. This is the first round. We can close the left nostril, yeah. And breathe about four count, like three, two, one. And then hold both nostril, four, three, two, one, and exhale from the opposite nostril, three, two, one. And again, exhale, three, two, one, and hold again, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one. That's the example. That's very easy, right? Any question about this? I hope I'm clear enough. And are you ready to exercise? Yeah. We can just uh, do this breathing exercise about two minutes um, to keep your balance energy. Like inhale, left, inhale, exhale, right? Yes. I will give you the instruction, but of course you can do by your own pace. Okay, so sit comfortably and then lengthen the spine, just relax and then let's do it. Close your left nostril and inhale right. Three, two, one, and hold. Three, two, one, exhale left, three, two, one, great. Inhale left, three, two, one, and hold, three, two, one, exhale right, three, two, one. Next round, inhale right, Hold, exhale left, inhale left, hold, exhale right, inhale right. Hold, exhale, left, inhale, left, 
hold. Exhale, right. One more round. Inhale, right. Hold. Exhale, left. Okay, take a deep breath. How do you feel? Anyone wants to share? So good, thank you, Andrea. Relax it, thank you, Chinky. Oh, relax, thank you. Yes, Yanti, Bu Yanti, yes. Yes, um, do we need to close our eyes while doing it or keep it's it It's an optional, if you feel more comfortable with the closed eyes, you can do it with the closed eyes. Okay. Because I feel more relaxed when I close my eyes. That's good. And how do you feel now? Much more relaxed. Much more Thank relaxed. You. Thank you, Vianti. Okay, thank okay. you everyone who was here. Yes? Yes, I have a question. What is the purpose of holding the breath? Why holding we, the breath. Yeah, because yeah. we do it inhale and exhale. Why, what is the purpose of holding them? Actually, holding the breathing is to feel the mindfulness, to keep your energy inside before you really flowing the energy and so you can be grounded, more centered. That's the purpose of holding the breathing. Mm, the holding is for the grounding. Yes. Okay. Thank to you be centered. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Okay. So many in the in the chat room. So many sharing. Okay. Yeah. Stillness, clarity, balancing, calm, great. The holding felt very comfortable. Thank you. So I hope this simple exercise can help you to be more grounded, feel differently when you feel an imbalance or even you lose your energy. And I invite you to practice. Yeah, This is a practice. This is not instantly. We just do this only one time and you already balance in the whole life. No, I invite you to practice only two minutes in the morning so you can have centered energy for your day. Okay, thank you for practice. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, and Amelia and I were doing this practice all the way through our um, preparation for this. And many times when I was very feeling very unbalanced in my energy, she would WhatsApp me and say, did you do your Nadi Shodana today? And I'm like, no. Yes, miss. So I did my I did my homework and it, it really made a difference. And even now actually because I need it, Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> so we <laughs> helped each other. But even now I notice like my voice quality has changed since before the breathing and after the breathing. So thank you, Amelia. That's how I feel. And for the participants, how do you feel? Do you see yourself and your energies? maybe in a different balance. Let's go back to your cards. We have the three punctum cards and the three rolls. We had our Nadi Sodana. And before we looked at each card as a separate roll. But now with these new eyes, with the rebalance, the reframe, Look at all the three cards as if you are in a gallery. What connects them? Maybe there's colors, patterns, themes, maybe animals, body parts, right? Different things might come. And what does this mean to you? And now you have this different state after the breathing exercise on the balance of your energy. What happens if you maybe change the order or the connections? 
of the cards. What's possible for you? How can you reframe your masculine and feminine energies? So to help you move forward with this question, we're going to choose one more card face down from flow. And this card is going to represent your new perspective about your energy and your roles. So what is the card reminding you about how to reframe your energy around your roles in the future? As we continue to live in this with COVID world, new normal, what is the card reminding you about how to reframe your energy around the roles? So you can turn your card over and take a few moments to answer this question through the cards. Card. Take a few moments to write your insights. Look at the picture. Look at the word. One flow photo card. What is the card reminding you about how to reframe your energy around your roles in the future? And keep writing, even if I don't know what to write. Continuous writing. So thank you. We would love to hear some of the voices in the room about your insights, how you'll reframe your energies about the roles in the future. I would like to so share. Please unmute yourself. Oh, someone already did. Exciting. Who is that? Yes, this is Tomas from Costa Rica. Okay, hang on. Let us find you, Thomas, so that we can uh, uh, just pin here. you just a moment. Yes, he's here waving. <laughs> he has a. Can we find him? Let me carry it. Uh, I, I, I believe that one of the, one of the, the greatest things that I found is that uh, I I found that I was feeling a little guilty because of my moment on each of the roles, and the car allowed me to refrain that. It's just right now in this moment. It, it is not a permanent thing. It's something that I can certainly work out. And I also found that I was feeling a lot guilty on, on, on some particular roles. But then when I get the new card, I, I immediately understand that I also have to, I have to, have to put perspective between what, what is happening right now in my life uh, my, my daughters, for example, are already 27 and 23. They're already out 
So my role as a father must change totally. And, and now I have to see a totally different perspective and a totally new energy is required. Uh, in my role as a husband, same thing. We're, we're now practically alone. We're, we're really free for each other. So we need to enjoy a lot. And my energy probably needs to be a lot more feminine than the masculine energy that I used to that I used to have in that role. And in my coaching role, I also found that uh, I need a lot more feminine uh, energy than the one that I was using. So what, what is really great for me is that I found that I, I I'm not doing myself any favor by feeling guilty. Rather, what I have to do is really balance the energies and see how the process will flow totally different. So it was really great. I really love that insight about like the different phases of you as a father and a husband, you know, even though the title of the role is the same, the life stage is different. So we need to bring a different energy, a different intention to that as well as like, you know, in this, in this COVID time, in this pandemic time, the way that we show up for each of our roles has changed. So I'm, I've properly got a, my, my coach calls it FBGs, a full body goosebump when you were sharing. So thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Yeah. And, and one last thing is they need totally different things now. I mean, I, I cannot continue give the same thing that I have given in the past because the needs are new, both from them and from me. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Who else? Can I? Yes, yeah. Andrea. Let us find you. There you go. Oh, it's Andrea. quick. Hello. <laughs> How are you, Amelia? And Great. nice to see you, Jennifer. Hi. Um, okay. It it is. Uh, very interesting because the first one, the role as a mother, mm -hmm. I changed. Uh, my, my son lives in Indonesia and uh, now he's in Mexico because of the pandemic, but he came for two months and three weeks. So it was so amazing. And I changed from masculine to feminine, the role because uh, uh, since his father died, I was like both, you know, um, it, I was very reactive when he got angry. And now uh, I was just uh, listening to him and he, I told him, I, I cannot show you the things that you don't want to see. I'm a professional for other people and I can, uh, advise you to see a professional. So he started, uh, I stood in the mother's role and I said, I cannot do this. You have to do it by yourself. So the relationship was amazing. So, so I have no problem with that. I'm really uh, happy about that change that we worked together, okay? Uh, the second one as Oh, you just muted yourself for a moment there, Andrea. Can you unmute? We can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, we heard you say the second one. The second one as a professional. Uh, I also have a masculine um, energy because I help people that is looking outside of them to look inside of them so they can smile, okay? And I am conducting the uh, ban. And here is the problem as a friend because I have this one, I got this one. I don't want to hear uh, when they Sometimes when they get jealous or when they get envy, I feel bad because I have something that they don't have. And uh, when I went to the card of the, I don't have the, the uh, flow, 
So I worked with the card of observation that I think it's an yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So it was amazing how could I change this with observating through the year. Oh, how interesting. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So it was amazing because the first one is he didn't want to see. They saw outside and she didn't want to listen. So it has to be with the sense. And, and how uh, do you feel now after you decided to reframe your energy? Uh, <laughs> it's a challenge. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Thank I you. like it very much. I like to have challenging challenges that depends on me that uh, I can I can change and, and I can improve my, uh, to a, a better version of me. Thank you for sharing, Andrea. That's Thank beautiful. you so much. Hope to see you soon. Prima <laughs> kasi. Prima kasi. <laughs> okay. I think we have one more. Yeah. Uh, we have, so. Yeah. Short sharing. Um, any one of you? Yeah. Insights. I can share. How will you refrain? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I have chosen uh, one of the roles I've chosen was a role I'm not playing. Like uh, to be in a love relationship, and uh, when when <laughs> when I discover the car, I feel a lot of pain, and I feel scared, and uh, I'm balanced, and I didn't know how to describe this energy, either feminine or masculine, but uh, I tried even to to switch the cards. And I can't read it. I can't see it. After the exercise, I felt a little better. And uh, the last card, like, make me see, like, I can do it. Or I have to integrate this role and to balance my energies. Otherwise, I f I'll feel this unbalanced energy and uh, I don't like to be there. What is your flow card? Uh, the one dancing, the flow. the flow. And how do you feel when you get this card? Hope. Hope. But uh, also I have to work it out, I think. Right. I hope by the end of this workshop I'll get better in it. You can just practice it, the breathing again to get Thank more you. comfortable. Thank you, Insa. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I really appreciate that perspective that you brought a role that you're not currently playing, but something which is important to you. Um, yeah. So for other people who are thinking about how can I use this again in the future, I think that's a really interesting um, perspective that hadn't, I don't think we talked about that uh, in, the, in the preparation. So very interesting that desire for this role, which we're not playing now, and maybe what we need to bring. So thank you, Insa, for bringing your vulnerability to the large group as well. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you to everyone for all the sharing and the support in the comments as well. It's um, really great to see those, um, but it wouldn't be a points of view workshop without some focus and doing. So we have one final question for you. Um, how to turn your insights into action? And I'd like to ask you, what, can you go, I've forgotten what my question is. <laughs> what are you taking with you from this workshop? And how are you going to apply that in the rest of the conference? So what are you taking? There it is. What are you taking from this session into the rest of the conference? And please write that one word or one sentence into the chat. 
what are you taking from this session into the rest of the conference? Daring, love in action, chance come from within, hope, balance, thank you, Lena, balance, learning, be myself, lightness, oh, it's coming. Openness, thank you, Gelsi. Intention, focus, listen, spot. Oh, what I love I Gloria's. Do. Yes, feminine masculine is a spectrum rather than it's a, than a duality. This is very important in this. And everyone holds everything within themselves. Awareness, Awareness of shifting the energies when needed. And we hope that you have, you know, this uh, Nadi Shodani is one of the tools that you can use to, uh, to help you with that energy shift, just to bring the awareness. Yes. yes. Okay. So thank you everyone for joining us today as we reframe our masculine and feminine energies. I really hope that you found ways to balance your energies or to bring different type of energy to your roles. Actually, even we are still in the pandemic and the COVID-19 still around us and, do, and could be if in the future, you also have another different role. You can remember this process. And thank you, Susanna, for your smooth production and also interpreters for your support. And of course, Jennifer, my co-facilitator today, I hope we can balance our energy. And remember <laughs> to practice your Nadi Sodana breathing. It's only two minutes in the morning, so you can keep your balanced energy for your day. And after this, uh, we still have next session. We have Points Cafe, facilitated by Mikal. Sorry, Marek, I took this part. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I do want to ask if Nui is still here at the beginning of the session, she said she wanted to change, get some more feminine energy. How did you do oh, yeah. on that? Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Where are you? It, trying to find you. I'm here. <laughs> there we go. Yes, me. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it it will get some used to, you know. It will feel uncomfortable at first, but feminine energy to me is like more into surrender and acceptance, and that's what I get from this workshop. Wonderful. Great. Thank you, well, Jennifer and Amel. Yeah, and we look forward. Do you have a workshop coming up later on today as well, right? Yep. Yeah. After, after this. After, you, after this. this. After this. So how do you get your balance energy <laughs> and recharge? It, yeah, it's good. It's good. This is coming before my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. I'm just doing some uh, PR for the later sessions as well. Anyway, let's hand over to Marek. Thank Super. you, Amelia. Thank you. Uh, everyone, thank you so much for this. Wow, I'm like rebalancing. I don't know where I am. I'm flowing in between my two extremes. Please give a heart or confetti to our amazing Jennifer and Amelia. Uh, show them our love and their reactions. Thank you for this amazing process. Thank you for all the sharings, what's happening. It's a beautiful morning or night. We now invite you to a short break in case you want more coffee, wine. You can drink whatever you want. It's a point of view conference. So just be comfortable what you need. I'm speaking too fast, sorry. I'm just excited. And after the break in 15 minutes, we are starting with the Points Cafe with Michal if you're interested, or if you need another pose, then Jean-Francois uh, will be going in the pose room and later, we'll have the next workshop with Nui uh, to get into some new vibes. So thank you for this amazing session. We hope to see you in the next. Take a stretch, take a breath. Amelia showed us how, get your drinks and we'll continue in the next sessions. See you there. Thank you for the beautiful, beautiful morning. Love to everyone and see you soon. Thank you, goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye. Thank you, Bye. Thank you, Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer and Maria and Mrs. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you everyone. Don't forget to practice. Thank you everyone. 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 Thank you Thank you Thank you